In this video, we're going to take a look at the box map projection. All right, so let's grab our sphere and let's add another unwrap UVW modifier and let's turn off ignore back facing and I'm going to select all of the polygons in this mesh and then I'm going to go down to the projections rollout and I'm going to go to box map. Now whenever we do this you'll notice it does create a nice box gizmo around the outside edge of our object. Now the other thing that it does is it basically does a planar map projection on four different sides of the mesh or of the selection. So you can see here that right along the bottom it's giving us this nice uh, UV cluster and then we have the front and the side. Now we could get the same result with our planar map. We would just have to select the polygons on the top and the bottom and then we would have to select the particular ones on the front, left, back, and right side. But with the box map, it gives us that same type of projection very quickly. Now, with the box map, um, it, it does not necessarily have to be used with a box-like object. Um, it just gives you this behavior. It's, it's basically a planar map projection on four sides. Now, it can give some unexpected results on very complex objects, as with most of these projection types can. It's just based on the selection that you provide before applying that projection. So now that we have learned about all of these different projection types and what they can do, I want to show you how we can mix those projection types to get the exact unwrap that you would desire.